Hi Blake, hi Kirsten. Uh, for this next video we are going to cover um, you guys placing an order for the client. Uh, maybe they called up after the fact and said oh I forgot this order or that order or maybe they just don't want to use an e-commerce website and so they want to do it over the phone. Um, whatever the reason may be, <clears throat> just come to WooCommerce and come to orders right here. Um, obviously, this is where you can come to see whatever orders have already been placed through the website, uh, but you can also just come right up here and go to Add Order. Um, if you know that they've already placed an order in the past and you have them as a record, you can come right in here and start, uh, start typing in their information and you can select them, in which case it'll automatically fill out this billing and shipping uh, area with their um, information, as you can see there. Or if that's not the case, um, let's just back out of this again. Um, you can simply Come right here to the billing and shipping information and just start filling that out. Um, so once you have that information filled out, uh, then you can just start coming here and adding items for them. So we can just say add item. We can say add product. Um, in this field here, when you search for a product, you can just start typing. Uh, if you know what the, the name is, uh, you might need to go find it first. Uh, I just went to the home page and decided I'd add this one. Um, so I don't know. There's a lot of different versions of this, but EIAA iPod mounting rings. Just going to pick this one. Uh, you can add more of them if you want, obviously. You can make this two or three or whatever, and uh, then you can just start searching for another one. Fully assembled quick strut package. So we'll just go ahead and add both of those. I guess in the instance of uh, it being a um, order to a, a country that you have not enabled shipping for, somebody's called you, uh, you can at this point also just come in here and add your custom shipping fee. Uh, whatever that might be that you've decided it costs to ship to Argentina or whatever it might be. And so you can label this um, So there we've got a ridiculous $500 shipping fee um, attached to this. Uh, and then when you're ready to um, save it, we're just going to go ahead and create this so that the order is saved. And now that it is, we can say email invoice order details to customer. And we can update that. So I went ahead and I put in my personal email address because I think maybe I already have a user account under my work email address. I sent that notification 
and I got this notice right here. So really all I have to do now is click um, pay for this order. And that takes me um, right to the cart, showing me exactly what it is that I'm paying for. I can choose my, my payment option, fill out my credit card information, and, and finish up paying for the order just like that. I think this is all that you guys need, but let me know if I've missed something or if you've got any questions. Thanks.